Namaste to all dear divine selves. Who is Brahman or Paramatman or God or the Supreme Reality? And how to know that Supreme Reality? In next few minutes, I am going to reveal before you all the secrets of self-realization, especially pertaining to Advaita Vedanta. One of the Mahavakyas of Upanishads declares that Pragyanam Brahma, Consciousness is verily Brahman. Consciousness and awareness are synonymous terms. So today I am going to reveal before you the nature of that awareness or consciousness and the relationship between consciousness and mind. So all the fundamental questions pertaining to spirituality as to what is real and what is unreal, what is Atman and what is Anatman, what, who is Brahman and what is Maya, what is bondage and what is liberation or moksha, and what is knowledge or enlightenment and what is ignorance. All these, these questions, fundamental questions germane to Vedanta philosophy are going to be answered in a few minutes in simple clear crystal tones. So Upanishads declared that Pragyanam Brahma, Brahman is of the nature of pure consciousness. What does it mean by pure consciousness? When consciousness is pure, that is, when consciousness is conscious of consciousness alone, that reality is called Brahman or Atman or Paramatman or Supreme Reality, the substratum of the entire universe. And that alone is reality, the rest of the phenomenal universe of names and forms is just appearance called Maya in Brahman. So without understanding Maya, you can't understand Brahman. You have to separate the chef from the grain. So we have to separate the Brahman from Maya, Atman from Anatman and to understand these things, we need to understand the nature of awareness and mind and the relationship between awareness or consciousness and mind. So when Upanishads declare that Pragyanam Brahma, they are trying to suggest that the subjective awareness, the subjective consciousness is Brahman and objective awareness when awareness or consciousness is full of objects is called Maya and also called mind that alone is called bondage and that, that alone is called ignorance. So the nature of consciousness and the nature of mind and their relationship, if we understand, all the questions will stand answered. There is no reality called mind. There is no independent entity called mind. So what is mind and what is the relationship between mind and awareness? When awareness is conscious of consciousness alone, when consciousness is conscious of consciousness alone or awareness is aware about awareness alone, that is called subjective awareness or subjective consciousness. That is the state of enlightenment, that is the pure pristine state of the supreme reality 
and that is called Brahman or God or Paramatman at least in Advaita Vedanta and when the same consciousness plus objects that is when the same consciousness perceives something, sees something that is consciousness plus objects is impure consciousness that really is called mind. There is no independent separate reality called mind. Consciousness plus objects or awareness plus objects is called mind. It sounds abstract. It will become very clear. I'll demonstrate before you. <clears throat> the extroversion of consciousness alone is called mind and introversion of mind is called pure consciousness. The same pure consciousness or pure awareness when becomes extroverted that state of consciousness is called mind and the state of mind that creates the entire illusory world of names and forms which is called maya. When the same mind which is enjoying, rejoicing, seeing, perceiving, knowing the objective world takes a U-turn and comes back to its root and its source that is consciousness it dissolves itself, it disappears and it becomes pure consciousness that is Brahman. That is the ultimate objective of all meditation whether Nirvikalpa Samadhi or Svavikalpa Samadhi or Nididhyasan to take the normal common state of our life we are operating through consciousness plus mind. That is the normal state. And that is the state of bondage. That is the state of ignorance. That is the state of living in unreality. So to know the reality, to become the reality, what do you need to do? Give a U-turn to your mind along with its instruments called sensory organs and the mind returns back to its source called Atman that is pure consciousness or pure awareness and then mind becomes conscious of its own root, its own source then it disappears. And since entire world of duality and names and forms is mere projection of the mind, the entire world of duality, distinction, difference and diversity disappears and they are the only one reality that is the subjective awareness, contentless consciousness that is pure consciousness, that is Brahman, that is Atman and that is Sakshi Chaitanya witnessing consciousness within the heart of every jiva, indwelling self, that is the true nature of ours. It's so simple, I have revealed the reality and the process of knowing or attaining that too. The extroverted mind leads to bondage, ignorance and all sorrows and sufferings. The same extroverted mind through which the common persons, common people operate and interact and live their life becomes introverted through the instruction of the competent teacher and through the knowledge of the scriptures and goes in search of the Brahman, the Paramatman seated there and witnessing consciousness in the heart that is within intellect, the buddhi there the mind disappears, the equipment, the instrument which had, which had created all the darkness, illusion, delusion and diversity disappears and there remains pure pristine 
consciousness absolute awareness which is the awareness is aware about nothing but awareness alone when consciousness is conscious about consciousness alone that is the state of absolute supreme truth that is the state when you realize the non dual nature of your own reality the non dual substratum of everything every action every name and form is none other than shuddha bodha swarupa pragyana swarupa sambhid various names for that brahman in upanishads sambhid pragya bodha chitti so this is so simple extroverted consciousness is called mind which leads to ignorance and introverted mind becomes consciousness consciousness pure subjective awareness absolute awareness and that awareness is your true nature that is called brahman because it is unborn undying immutable reality it is infinite and absolute reality of everything everyone everywhere ever the reality is always of the nature of pure being and pure knowing that is pure consciousness and this is inherently and intrinsically blissful absolute bliss and unconditional love is the nature of this reality that is called brahman that is called paramatman i'll repeat it it's so simple this brahman and the atman paramatman we have read so much but right now right here within ourselves when our mind is extroverted that is we are seeing perceiving knowing through our senses the external objective world and reveling and living in that false projected illusory world that is the state of bondage when we take a u turn and the mind returns back to its source that is in pure consciousness the mind dissolves and disappears that is called the state of no mind and that state of no mind is the state of pure consciousness where the consciousness shines in its pure pristine glory where the entire world of names and forms disappears and dissolves where all illusion disappears and the supreme reality of the nature of sachidananda pure being pure consciousness and absolute bliss shines forth that it, that is also called the transcendental meditation or nirvikalp samadhi that is called gyan samadhi and that alone is called knowledge or enlightenment knowledge of what knowledge of supreme truth truth eternal truth absolute truth immutable that is our nature that i am that you are that is called brahman and it's so simple this much alone the entire this i have revealed the conclusion supreme conclusion of entire upanishads entire brahma sutra entire bhagavad gita and in fact entire quint essence of vedic literature that your own subjective awareness is brahman and the same awareness when it becomes full of objects so objectful awareness is sansar or jiva contentless consciousness is brahman and consciousness conscious of objective world is maya or jiva or bondage and all sorrows this is so simple so subjective awareness is our ultimate state pure consciousness is our ultimate state and right now when i dissolve my mind i realize that supreme state and chidanandaropah shivoham shivoham